नमस्ते स्टूडेंट टूडे यू गोइंग टू लर्न अ न्यू चैप्टर हेर ऑन्स फॉर्मूला सो यर वट इज इम्पॉर्टेंस टू लर्न दिस फॉर्मूला टू फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंग एंड नाउ क्वेश्चन विल एराइज सो ऑलरेडी वी हैव वन फॉर्मूला दैट इज हाफ इंटू वेस्ट इंटू आई दैन वट इज द इम्पॉर्टेंस टू लर्न दिस वन एज यू कैन सी इन द फॉर्मूला ऑफ दिस वन द एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल इक्वल्स टू हाफ इंटू बेस इंटू हाइट हियर यू हैव बेस एंड हाइट that means base and height then only you can apply this formula but if they will not provide the height only this side would be given like this in this triangle if think this is 5 cm 4 cm and 3 cm and you need to find the area of the triangle then you cannot apply this formula then we have another formula that is called heron's formula so what is this as S is the perimeter, semi-perimeter. That means perimeter means what? Sum of all side and divide by two. That is the semi-perimeter. Means half of the semi-perimeter. Half of the perimeter is called semi-perimeter. So this one S is a semi-perimeter. What is A B C? Length of the side of a triangle. A B C are the length. Okay. So here uh, this formula has been given by our hero. Born in Egypt, Alexandria. Okay. Now the question will arise, sir. How did you get this one? Is there derivation for this? Yes, we have derivation, and we're going to do that one. Okay. So let's see the derivation. Very interesting. Okay. So let's start. So here, our first target will take. Assume that this is your A. This is your B and this is your C. Okay, take perpendicular AD on BC. Okay, take this one as BD as D and DC. This is your what? Total is A. If you are taking this one is D, then this will be what? A minus D. Okay. so we have side length abc now if we we'll see we have in triangle abd abd is a right angle triangle by pythagoras theorem we can apply that what and take this one is your height h okay that means we can write h square equals to What hypotenuse square minus side square. Okay, this is your one. Another one, if you see, in triangle ADC, this is also right angle triangle. If you apply, you know Pythagoras theorem says hypotenuse square equals to what perpendicular square plus base square. That means perpendicular square can be written as hypotenuse square minus base square. So here. H square equals to can be written as what B square minus A minus T whole square. So this is your number one and this is your number two. From one and two, what you can get from one and two, we get what? See H square is equals to this and H square equals to this. That means we can write here C square minus D square equals to B square minus A minus T whole square. Okay. Now break this one. If we we'll break it, we are getting here A square plus D square minus two A D. Okay. This implies C square minus D square equals to B square minus A square minus D square. Minus minus plus two a d. This d square and d square cancel each other. Okay, and bring this one this side. We are getting here c square. This will give you minus b square plus a square equals to two a d. In the next step. This two a will come at denominator. We can write here c square 
और ए स्क्वायर प्लस सी स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर बाई टू ए इक्वल्स टू डी ओके नाउ विल सब्सिट्यूट इन द इक्वेशन फर्स्ट द वैल्यू ऑफ डी ओके फ्रॉम वन what we can do h square can be written as c square minus look at this one we have so substitute here that is a square plus c square minus b square by 2a whole square okay this one we have next h square equals to what See, this is your a square minus b square formula. Remember, a square minus b square formula, a plus b, a minus b. Yes, we can write this one here. a plus b, a minus b means what? a plus b. Okay. So, here you can convert plus a square plus c square minus b square by 2a. a plus b, a minus b a square plus c square minus b square by 2a this is your a plus b a minus b now you take lcm and denominator and add them so add it what we get here here 2a that is 2 what 2 ac plus a square plus b square Sorry, not b square c square minus b square this your first part second one similarly will proceed to ac plus plus minus we are getting minus a square plus minus minus c square minus minus plus b square okay by 2a close the bracket now 2a into 2a will give you 4a square and what we are getting on the top let's see arrange it if you arrange you can see that a square plus c square plus 2ab remember this formula a square plus b square plus 2ab can be written as a plus b whole square here your b is c that means we can apply here a plus c whole square and there is a minus b square okay and for this one you see here if we'll take common if we'll take minus common here okay so if we'll take minus common from this side you take out minus so what we are getting here uh, a square okay plus c square minus 2ac minus b square okay we are taking minus common here you can keep a minus outside okay minus one we are taking the minus one common now proceed see this minus one will be applied here that means it will give you b square minus a plus c whole square okay top denominator we have this one this one will be written as see did this give you a formula that means what a plus c sorry a minus c whole square minus b square okay so we'll proceed this one how half one by four a square okay now see look at this is your formula a square minus b square again we can write a plus b a minus b this is one formula for this one a plus b 
a minus b okay so now we're going to arrange this all 1 over 4 a square arrange it a plus b plus c can be written okay write it this one is a minus is there so what we're going to do we'll take the minus this side we'll keep this one a plus c minus b we are taking minus one common okay keep minus one common remember you have one minus one common here for this arrange it a plus b minus c now you take common from here if you take common from here you are getting b plus c minus a one minus common see minus one minus one give you plus one okay so why are you doing this all we have something for them let's let's try to find it okay so what that s s is what semi semi perimeter we'll apply that one okay we'll put it here so to find it we need the face here so let's start let's see so s s means what a plus b plus c by 2 that means this give you 2s equals to a plus b plus c okay now we'll apply some concept that if we'll subtract 2a from both sides see remember in Euclid geometry things subtracted from both sides what remains same so yeah 2a so if we'll take common 2 from left hand side you are getting s minus a and from this side you are getting b plus c minus a okay this is one if we'll go for 2s minus 2b a plus b plus c minus 2b what we are getting s minus b we are getting here uh, a plus c minus b another one if you'll see 2s minus 2c a plus b plus c minus 2c this will give you 2 into s minus c equals to a plus b minus c so here we're going to apply this all three here look at so what we are getting sorry and this one a plus b plus c is what a plus b plus c is 2s so right here 2s okay so next uh, a plus c minus b a plus c find it where is a plus c minus b is what this one 2 into s minus b next a plus b minus c a plus b minus c so a plus b minus c will give you 2 into s minus c another one b plus c minus a so here b plus c minus a will give you 2 into s minus a 2 into s minus a okay now this 2 and 2 and another 2 we are cancelling okay cancel it so we have here right now 2 into 2 that is 4 by a square and here s into arrange it s minus a s minus b s minus c which one h square this is your h square equals to this okay we have this one h square equals to this now so we'll proceed here In the next page here only we'll proceed okay so we have h square let's uh, that means h can be written as what root over 4 by a square s into s minus a s minus b and s minus c okay. this give you square root 2 will come out a will come out and will remain inside s into 
s minus a s minus b and s minus b now if you see this one that one formula we remember remember what area of triangle can be written as half into base into height yes so base is what here your base is a this is your a is your base okay and the height is h and we have the formula for h this one that means if we apply here area of triangle equals to what half into base into height formula so here your base is a according to the given question and the height right now we have this one to 2 by a root over s into s minus a s minus b and s minus b 2 to cancel a a cancel and we have here root over s into s minus a s minus b s minus c this is your formula okay i hope you have understood thank you